Hello guys, welcome to the channel Engineer Study. Here now we are learning the concept of microcontroller. Now the question in your mind, what is microcontroller and why we need to learn this microcontroller? We are getting the answers of these questions, but before this we should know what is microprocessor. It is a small computation unit that is fabricated on a single chip or a CPU built on a single IC is called a microprocessor. That means we can say an IC which can work as a CPU is called a microprocessor. It can perform the various operations like logical operations, arithmetic operations, data manipulations. Now what the microprocessor internally consists? It consists of an ALU unit control unit register array. ALU is the arithmetic and logical unit which is used to perform mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and logical operations like ending, oring, XORing. For performing this operation, ALU requires the data from input device or memory device and it shows the output on the output device and stores the result in the memory devices. That means for performing any operation, microprocessor needs external connection of input device, output device and memory devices. The control unit handles the overall processing and flow of data in the computer. The register array is a combination of registers and accumulator which is used to store the data. That means microprocessor is an IC which connect any devices to perform any operation like calculator. Now we turn towards the microcontroller. Controller is a small computer built on a single IC. That means an IC which can perform the operation just like a computer is called a microcontroller. It can perform any specific task. Microcontroller contains one or more CPUs, means microprocessor, memory, IO devices, a 2D converter, timers. Microcontroller application area is very wide. You can say in every automation system, microcontroller is required. Microcontroller is used in electronics field, medical field, automotive industry, telecommunication, security system, robotics. These are the applications of the microcontroller. That's why we need to learn this microcontroller. Let's see the constructional block of microcontroller. It contains microprocessor, input output devices, memory unit, timers, analog to digital converter, serial input output devices and other devices like oscillators. These units are connected by using the wires and these wires called buses. These buses are used to fetch the data from the CPU or to receive the data from the other devices to the CPU. Let's compare this microprocessor and microcontroller. Microprocessor is a CPU on a single chip. Microcontroller is a computer on a single chip. In microprocessor, we need to connect memory and I.O. devices externally. But in microcontroller that are inbuilt, that's why there is no need to connect externally. In microprocessor, RAM, ROM, Timers, serial input output devices doesn't fabricate it within the chip so, so it needs to connect externally but in the microcontroller that all are connect internally. For performing any operation, microprocessor needs to connect devices externally so the size is become large and for connections number of wires required is more so the number of buses is more in microprocessor. But in microcontroller, all devices are inbuilt, so the size is not large and there is not any external connection, so the number of buses is less. Due to the external connecting devices, the microprocessor operation is expensive than microcontroller. Microprocessor is not suitable for devices that run on stored power. So the total power consumption is high. Just see the example of the desktop where CPU is separated 
required more power because there is no stored power means charge battery but in laptop where cpu is internally connected means embedded there can be use stored power means charge battery so the power consumption is less in microcontroller microprocessor architecture is based on the von neumann and microcontroller architecture is based on the harvard architecture now what is von neumann and harvard architecture you don't know we will see in the next upcoming videos but for this stage just understand von neumann means von neumann is the architecture where data memory and program memory are allocated in the same space and data bus and address bus use the same buses for fetching the data from the cpu and in harvard architecture program memory and data memory allocated in the different spaces and data bus and address bus uses different buses for fetching the data from the cpu the microprocessor use the von neumann architecture and microcontroller use the harvard architecture microprocessor is complex and expensive due to the large number of instructions to process but microcontroller is simple and inexpensive due to the less number of instructions to process microprocessor runs at a very high speed than the microcontroller some popular examples of the microprocessor are intel core i7 amd athlon raspberry pi and the examples of the microcontroller are arduino uno stm32 peak 8051 etc now goes to the family of microcontroller there are the various microcontroller like 8051 avr pics and they have number of different ic's controllers microcontroller is classified on the basis of number of bits number of bits means the number of bits of address bus and data bus it may be 8 bit 16 bit or 32 bit if the microcontroller is of 8 bit then alu perform the operation only on 8 bit if the microcontroller is of 16 bit then the alu can perform the operation 8 bit and 16 bit both if microcontroller is of 32 bit it can perform the operation on 8 16 or 32 bit 8 bit microcontrollers are intel 8031 8051 peak 1x and motorola mc68 hc11 families 16 bit microcontrollers are 8051 xa peak 2x intel 8096 and motorola mc68 hc12 families 32 bit microcontrollers are intel atmel 251 families peak 3x here intel atmel motorola are the manufactured companies of ic so this all about the microcontroller we will see in the next video with more information about the microcontroller if you like this video please subscribe it like it and share it thank you for watching